When you won at Bastad a couple of weeks ago, it seemed like a very emotional moment for you. Was it? Uh, yes, of course, because since two years ago, I never uh, won a tournament. So uh, I wait a long time. So anyway, um, always win a tournament is, is important for a tennis player. And, and I appreciate more because I am 35 years old. And, you know, now win a tournament is, is uh, uh, very important for, for me and for my, my, my motivation. I, I still have motivation uh, to play tennis. What, it, what motivates you, man, to get out of bed every day at the age of 35? That improve uh, my game, uh, you know, and now I don't have uh, a, a really good ranking. But uh, for me, it's uh, a challenge uh, to uh, getting up in my, in my in my ranking, and well, I, I like playing tennis. I enjoy playing tennis, and I, I have a different goal when I was a top ten tennis player. You, Feli, Roger, Victor, uh, you've each won titles this year. I mean, it's the second time ever, I think, in the Open era. Four guys, thirty-five and, mm -hmm. and older, have won. The tour keeps talking about next gen and the young kids and whatever. Mm -hmm. What kind of reminder is this that the that the old dogs still have uh, <laughs> still have some fight in them? Well, we will try, sure, to be there. But every year we know that is more difficult right? because the next gen uh, they are there, it's, they are coming up, and and they are very very amazing players like Kijos, Zverev, they are top ten or close of the, the top ten and. Is normal, but well, and now I think the fitness, the healthy, and the, we don't we don't have a lot of important injuries. That's a good point to be uh, still playing tennis in a good uh, in a good uh, performance. Seven hundred wins, not many people have that in their career. When you think back from Umag in two thousand two and Nalbandian to now yeah. sitting here in August of twenty seventeen. <laughs> What, when you think back, what, what are the things you're most proud of, David? The most proud is because every year in my career, I improve myself, not only my tennis, me, about uh, personal. And, uh, you know, the, the tennis uh, give me everything. Uh, you know, of course, uh, improve education, uh, moral education morals and uh, I'm proud about my career because I uh, I try to do my my best every match or every year that I play tennis um, you mentioned earlier in the season I was reading a transcript you said that I wasn't very consistent with my serve and you said there was some kind of injury that, that was affecting it what was what was bothering you then and where's your serve now it's my my weak uh, shot, my my serve, and uh, uh, I am trying uh, uh, to be more consistent with my serve because uh, I have a good uh, uh, good game in the best line, move from my legs, and I am fast. I'm still fast, but I have a problem with my. Uh, myself when I when I am nervous, I know that, and well, uh, it was I had that problem. Uh, but I know that it was I improve a little bit my my weak shot. Uh, this is the only time we get a chance to sit down with you. If you happen to run into Jack Sock in this tournament in the draw, um, you guys are two hard hitting baseliners. Each time you played, it's gone three sets. What is it about when the two of you get together that makes it so competitive? I don't want to think about Jack So because you know uh, I have to play my, my first round against Kyle Moon that he's a, a next gen he's a, a great player uh, he's a very dangerous player with a lot of power in their shots so I will have played very good to win tomorrow so if I uh, I want to be focused for tomorrow I don't want to think with Jack, because Jack and me, we have to win uh, to play in a second round. So uh, I will play tomorrow, and after that, if I have the chance to win, I will be focused for, 
my next open. Sure. Just <coughs> lastly, if, if there's a young tennis player who comes up to you and says, David, I'd love to get some advice, not about on-court stuff, uh -huh. life on tour, day-to-day, -day, um, how to handle myself, what kind of advice would you give a young player who wants to be a pro? Try to improve every day. Uh, don't matter the result. You know, uh, every day try to do his best and and enjoy with with that. Try to enjoy improving his his game, his mentality, and his uh, personal self.